Good morning. I am walking through London this morning and have made the impromptu decision to vlog today because I think it's quite an exciting day. I've got my first tutorial for this exam city. I'm going for a tutorial on pricing, general insurance pricing, which should be interesting because while I work in general insurance, I've never done any pricing work before. So we'll see how it goes, but that's an in-person one. It's a really nice day today, so I'm feeling good about getting out of the house, going into London, meeting some other students. And then this evening, I've got karaoke party plans back in Cambridge with friends, so it's looking to be quite a nice day. So, join me! I think I'm on the right road. This is a new venue. BPP Hoban. Never been there before. I've been to Waterloo, I've been to Liverpool Street, I've even been to King's Cross. They've got a lot of venues throughout London, but never this one. But I have got 15 minutes until the tutorial starts. I think I'm about five minutes away, so we've got some time to get lost. It's all good. I'm going to room 6.6. .6. Let's go. Hi, this is the SPA. It is, yes, in here. my tutorial and now I'm playing the game of retracing my footsteps from this morning and figuring out how I actually got to the venue from St Pancras because I'm going to say back to Cambridge. Just put some sunglasses on because it is so sunny. I am squinting. I think I'm going up. I think I'm taking it right. I think I need to cross. Ah, okay. I found my way and maps going. I needed to trust myself because I was actually going the right way before I checked maps. The tutorial was good. I think I probably checked my watch less than I have in tutorials in the past. Time flies, I guess, when learning about general insurance pricing. Um, a lot of it is bookwork stuff. Lots of definitions and acronyms covered today, although the exam is open book, which is good. Feeling quite good about the subject in general, I would say. The tutor was good, very knowledgeable. Lots of past experience being an examiner and a tutor, so knew all the tips and tricks to tell us. What was strange today is it was my first tutorial that was general insurance only, so everyone taking this subject is working in GI. So when everyone introduced themselves and said what companies they come from, it was all kind of companies I recognised and past clients that I worked with. So I was like, ah, oh, do you know so-and-so? We had mutual connections and yeah, it's quite funny, but it was a nice group actually. We all ate lunch together outside, got a prep, sat in a sunny park. I put some sun cream on because I had a nasty experience burning my arms a week ago and I am not repeating that. Oh my gosh, there's an ice cream shot. Do you know what? It is the day for ice cream. I had an iced latte at lunchtime and it was fantastic. The tutor's first words to me today were, how was your dinner party, Paige? So they watch my YouTube channel. Shout out to them if they're watching. I have taken a wrong turn because I do not remember walking this way on the way here but I'm walking north which is in the vague direction of King's Cross so I hope you're right. That's where we're going. Get a seat on the train, guys. Place your bets now. I'm not sure I'm feeling hopeful. These people are wizards. 
so I don't know how they got on the train so fast, but like literally so many seats are taken already. Bowling alley karaoke that we are trying out this evening. It is half past ten. We've made it into the food. It's gone it very quiet. Half past ten. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and we're gonna have some lovely singing from everyone. <laughs> People, I am home. I just got in and I think I'm going on voice rest for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Starting the day the right way with a pan au chocolat, some OJ and my laptop, which I need to do some holiday prep on. I've just checked in for our flights next week, but there's lots to do. Hello everyone. I've had a slow morning, but I am now out in this tropical climate. It is so hot today and walking into town got a pretty full backpack at the moment because I've got some returns to do. I need to go to the post office and to New Look, but ideally I want to find time to meet my friends who are in town at the moment, have some ice cream and do all the nice things you do on this lovely day like this. Also need food at some point, probably lunch in about an hour or so. I am sun creamed up though to the max. I burnt myself a couple of times in the last few weeks and it's not happening again, so yeah. SPF kids always. Not to be dramatic, but it feels a bit too hot to even be walking. I decided against cycling because I didn't want to carry my helmet later when I'm in town and it's quite a short walk into town from my house anyway and I thought it's a beautiful day, might as well walk, but oh my gosh I'm getting hot and sweaty just from a light walk into town. latte um a few of us are sitting outside will's here We're now wandering off um it's a very very nice day i think the post office has been good hello everyone it is approaching six o'clock i am dead on my feet not complaining, quite into a good odd shop. I bought a few swimming costumes, got the goods. I now need to walk home because I didn't cycle earlier. Am I looking forward to it in this heat? No. But I've re sun creamed, which is good. Bought my Fax 50 earlier. We're supposed to regroup with my friends this afternoon to play some spike ball on Jesus Green. Didn't happen. <laughs> It's too much shopping to do. Um, I did see friends this morning and had ice cream and ice lattes and all the ice treats, so it's been good. Okay, I'm now on my way, walking across Midsummer Common. I've actually got a date this evening at eight o'clock, so in less than two hours time. It's at the Granta, which is a pub that overlooks the river. So quite a nice location. It's a first date. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But I do need to sort myself out because I, I can't turn up like this. And the boat houses are over the other side of the river. Used to be there quite a lot. It's going to be quite busy on the river at the moment because the students have their bumps rowing races next week. I've actually subbed in for my old college a couple of times in recent weeks, which has been fun. But I'm not coxing regularly at the moment. I'm taking a bit of a break. I'm freelancing is what I call it. Whenever a crew needs help, a one-off cox, I'm happy to help. But I just don't have the time to commit to a full crew and regular outings. So this arrangement works for me at the moment. And it's never a chore in this kind of weather. 
to get out on the river and get in the coxing seat. I've also been rowing myself a few times as well, actually doing the exercise. And do you know, I think I'm, I'm, get, I'm moving towards the point where I'm a competent rower, so that's pretty good. Here's my little filming setup. It is Sunday and I've been filming this afternoon. I've also been watering my plants. Basically, my friend Fatima has trusted me with her plants for two whole months while she's away on her medical elective. This is my first time taking in plants, but I'm going to name them all. I'm making sure they're being watered. They're getting sunlight. Got my little spritzer. All in all, liking the responsibility. They I'm still alive after being here for one week. And we've pretty much made it through the weekend. I was feeling quite stressed this morning because the last couple of days have been more focused on socializing than getting stuff done. As mentioned, I'm going on holiday next Saturday, but there's quite a lot of YouTube stuff, lots of filming, lots of editing that I need to get done before I go off. And also this morning, I just felt overwhelmed by the state of my house. It's looking better now, but honestly, when I go through periods of going out a lot and rushing between things and so socializing the house suffers i leave clothes on the floor i leave dirty plates out and don't put them in the dishwasher i get behind on laundry in general there'll just be loads of random things everywhere whether that's sunglasses sun cream bike lights pens and pencils laptops nothing is in its home because every time i get back to the house i'm always in a rush and i'm throwing things around or i don't have the energy to do anything i just want to go to bed that happened a little bit this week but it's under control a little bit more now. I'm gonna put another load of laundry on this evening. It's not an exciting evening. Need to book my trains actually. I'm gonna book my trains for the city next week. It is Tuesday and I am heading into the office. Yesterday was a work from home day, so I didn't really feel anything. It wasn't that eventful, to be honest with you. Sat at my desk, looked out the window at the sun and felt sad about working all day. But yeah, it's nice to be out the house instead today. Currently in my commuter here. I feel like I look very sporty today. Got my cycling shorts on. I need to do a very quick change. Got a summer dress, you know. We're in into the summer vibes this week. The plan for the day is mostly to work on a report, which I'm probably quite used to me saying now, but a lot of my job is an analysis and then writing out what we've done in a report. I am actually gonna get a hurry on though because I've got a 9.30 meeting. And it's 9.25 and I need to get changed as well before I start working because I'm not working like this. I found a little cranny to have my lunch in, in the shade because I just don't want to burn my arms. I don't want to put sun cream on either because I get so sticky when I go back to the office. But the river is right here. I was trying to find somewhere nicer, but I think walking aimlessly in London does not seem to lead you to a good place to sit and eat. I should have had a bit more of a plan in mind, I think, but hey, next time. I'm actually going to start walking back towards the office now because it's 20 to 2. To be fair, I only left about half an hour ago but there's lots on I've got a call this afternoon I don't want to get sunburnt and I can feel my legs getting sunburnt so I'm gonna walk briskly it's actually a very quiet day in the office today I think a lot of my immediate team were in yesterday and then I've chosen to work from home today so it's a quiet GI side of the office but a fair few of the life insurance consulting team are in. The life team at my company is actually much bigger than the GI team. They're um, celebrating the completion of some big client engagement and one of the heads of their team brought in some really fancy cakes this morning and sent an email around to the whole office like cakes to celebrate. Help yourselves everyone. It was like red velvet cake and 
I think the other one was coffee or chocolate cake. I'm not sure I didn't try it. I went for the red velvet because it looked pretty, but really good cake. I don't know. I did think to myself, gosh, can I have this cake? I, I, I did nothing for this project that we're celebrating because I don't work at the live team, but um, they sent the email around to the whole office. They put it in our shared kitchen. So I think it was fair game to help myself. So thanks life team, keep doing the good work that you're doing. back in commuter gear and I'm going to head to the station for my train home. I have got less than 10 minutes until my train leaves. I've cut it quite fine. You have a habit of cutting it quite fine. I'm almost always doing a brisk speed walk to the station. It would be so easy to leave five minutes earlier. But I never do. Does anyone else have this problem? I, I have serious timekeeping issues. Hello vlog. So we've had a bit of a mishap on the train journey home and basically services between Bishop Stortford and Cambridge are not running at the moment because they've had issues with the overhead wires. Bishop Stortford is still quite a long way from home. So right now I'm on a train back into London, then I'm going to shoot across to King's Cross and then try and get back up to Cambridge that way. But it's looking like it's just going to be a long evening of sitting on a train and I'm not going to be home for a while. But the good news is this train is so much better air conditions than the one before. Like honestly, I was not having a fun time on the train before this from Liverpool Street to Bishop Stortford because there was like no aircon at all. I felt physically sick. I was already feeling like it was the journey home from hell. And then they announced the the trains are all terminated and not going any further. So I'm hoping this is the right call to get on a train back into London. They've suggested it as one possible route but they didn't have any more information on kind of when the lines have been reopening but it's been going on for five hours now apparently so I'm placing my bets that it's not going to be resolved very soon. There was other routes via stands to the airport but those sounded problematic and I could barely hear what they were saying There's something about two hours delays there so I've made the call. I'm hoping this is going to get me home. I'm moving further away from home right now but <laughs> hopefully it's going to be a nice roundabout route. Sometimes the joy of commuting to think this morning I was like oh my god commuting is fun in the summer. No it's not. It's really not. Visiting lots of new places today. I'm in Tottenham Hale, very exotic, and looking for the tube. I need to get the Victoria line over to King's Cross, according to my research. Aha! This is looking good. Onwards. There is a train that leaves at 7.39, so in about 15 minutes time, it's going to get me back to Cambridge at 8.30. So with a bit of luck, I'll be home by 9 o'clock, having left the office at about 20 past 5. Today, I'm starting to feel a little bit angry. It's really well secured, but the key just too much everywhere to get some on before the train goes. Just went to the wrong platform. I've made it back to Cambridge. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's Cambridge Station behind me. I have just popped to Sainsbury's as well pizza in hand, just did a quick food shop, was glad it was still open <laughs> actually. I was planning on doing a quick food shop because I was going to be back in Cambridge early today. Didn't quite work out like that. Bumped into Hannah, my friend from 
universe who, who was having the same issues as me and her train was also cancelled so <laughs> it's a Cambridge wide issue here today can't wait to get home <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not going to have any issues like I had on Tuesday. Some nice saxophone playing going on here. I'm getting a brisk walk on because I've actually left only 12 minutes, maybe a little bit less than that to get to the station. I'm not finished with work either. I need to open my laptop again once I get home, maybe even do some on the train. If I get a seat, it's unlikely I get a seat at this stage. I don't know if I told you yet in this video or in another video, but I'm on a very crazy project at the moment. It's probably the project with the tightest, most intense deadlines I've been on in terms of pressure to getting things turned around. It's also maybe the most interesting project I've ever worked on. So there's a trade-off between it being high pressure and interesting but I, I just I hope to read about it will finish by now I need to prepare for holiday I'm feeling stressed because I'm not packed I, I need to do my laundry to, in order to pack my clothes I haven't done my laundry yet <laughs> just another Thursday in the city Thursday's the new Friday that's what they say and yeah the other news is that I missed my alarm this morning or rather I, I do actually have a vague recollection of waking up to my alarm but not properly waking up or not waking up enough to realize the difference between the snooze button and the stop button and I essentially just turned off my alarm instead of snoozing it by accident woke up an hour later than I needed to to get my normal train which was not ideal I still made it to the office at about 9.50 so it really wasn't a bad effort from me all things considered but the thing is I'd stayed up late the night before trying to get holiday ready trying to get a load of admin done and it was my body saying Paige you need more than six hours sleep In the life. I'm at home, working from home today, as you can see. It's my last day at work before holiday, which is partially why it's hectic. The other reason is my project is hectic, as I said yesterday, and the team is depleted. I've got colleagues who are either at conferences or on their non-working day to day. So I'm having to pick up stuff that other people were initially doing, and I'm under time pressure to do it. So it's slightly stressful, and you can maybe hear my tumble dryer going on in the background i've actually got a hand washing station in progress here that i'm running to any time that my files are calculating or i need to wait for something to calculate i'm like quick go do a quick hand wash because holidays tomorrow i'm not ready i've been working overtime and not preparing for holiday which is not good <laughs> the plan is actually to drive to my aunties this evening because we're flying from gatwick tomorrow we had a chat this morning and to be honest it looks like a lot of the team have a hard stop today at five anyway so we're not going to be working late today and then at five i'm going to be running around like a headless chicken trying to throw everything i need in my case i'm just hearing my computer making noises at me so i'm going to rush back to it to set off another another run doing some stochastic modeling doing some sensitivity testing basically changing assumptions and seeing what that does to our output loss ratio that we're modeling and so i do have a cheat sheet of all the sensitivity tests that i need to run and it's just working my way through them and making sure that i update all of the assumptions accurately it's not too heavy on the thinking this like i've got some prescribed tests to do and i know where my bells and whistles are in the model to make these assumption and parameter changes it's just making sure I do them all correctly and with as much speed as possible. Each run takes about one minute. Perfect, my model has run. I've got results. Do those results look reasonable? Let's do a sense check. I've got about 
0.5% decrease. Is that similar to what we're seeing before? It is similar. Perfect. That gives me confidence. Hello vlog. It is now Saturday, half past 12, about half an hour before my flight and Walt is going to take off. You would please know everything came together. I managed to pack, I managed to tie up work in time with my auntie now. I didn't arrive at my auntie's house until past 10 yesterday evening, which wasn't really the plan, but the roads were quiet by the time I got on the road, so at least that was good. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog here and have a nice relaxing holiday. Enjoy the time off. I put my out of office email on, so no one's getting a response in less than five working days, I'm afraid. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, follow my LinkedIn, and subscribe to my email newsletter. And once you've done all that, I will see you soon with another video. Bye!